everyone here with Predator Plastics. We are about to do a test run today. We're trying to see what kind of weight we can put in that boat. Uh, we've already done a water test on it, and we actually had to put just about 3,000 pounds in there to sink it. Today we're going to try to simulate putting an animal in there, or a moose, or, or people in cargo. So we're actually going to be using some pipeline weights, which all weigh the same amount, which we'll show you here in a minute. But to start with, myself, I believe I'm about 98 pounds. We'll check that. <coughs> oh, oh, I was a little out. As it turns out, 248, 249 pounds. Ow. <laughs> and the pipeline weights, we will be using This is for our oiling gas products, this is what we use to keep the pipes down for drilling rigs. Weighs in at 146 and a half pounds. Um, they're anywhere from 145 to 150, 151. We, we basically, uh, we're calling them 150 pound weights just for the test. We also have the 99 Evinrude going on there. You want to grab that? We'll just weigh it just for shits and giggles. So we've got a motor weighing 70 pounds. We also got a five gallon jug of gas going in there. So we'll call that say 90, 100 pounds plus 250 plus as many of them pipeline weights as we can get in there. Okay, we'll see you on the water. 900 plus the 350 we were before, that's actually 1,250 pounds in that boat when I get in there. And this time I'm not bullshitting you, most of the weight is something else. <laughs> John's getting old. I packed the one 150 weight, I had no problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to see all these line weights in here, so as you can see in the front half, we got one, two, three, four of those line weights at 150 pounds a piece. And you see our floater rope of security, just in case. Um, and then on the front, we got two line weights at 150 pounds a piece, so that's 300. 250 here, 550, and another 100 pounds for the motor and gas. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set up the camera back here and we'll uh, push you off. We'll see how she sits and floats. And Puts around. Okay. <clears throat> Just so we're clear, if this ship goes down, this captain is not going down with his ship. He passed. What is it? <laughs> Yellow swimming. <laughs> That's impressive. I figured it's sitting over in that. You gotta remember, it's not a speedboat, it's a fishing boat. This boat is technically rated with transport count for 766 pounds. We have a seat back rig.
John, I honestly think that's about as much weight as I'd want to put in it. Uh, we did take on probably another 30, 40 pounds of water there, splashing into some of them waves, a little splashing. Okay. So realistically, I think that's probably about the most weight I'd want to put in it and safely cross any kind of body of water. But uh, that's still, I mean, do the math. You got six weights at 150 pounds a piece, 900 pounds plus the 350 with me and the motor. We're sitting at 1,250 pounds in this thing, which is significantly more than it's rated for. Um, it has no problem floating. I mean, if you're paddling around or just trying to cross something cautiously, you wouldn't have any trouble. Right on. Thanks, John.